I am a dog. A dog that's incredibly bright. I can talk, read and write. And surf the net all of the day and all of the night. Oh, Neil, you can talk. And much more, Bernie, but keep it to yourself. If we let the cat out of the bag, you'd be a celebrity. If you want to lead a dog's life, the secret's got to stay with you and me. Watch my chops, shush. It's no joke, the doggy spoke, he said. Watch my chops, they must never hear a word. Absurd. It's not me, it's her! Karen, what's your favorite film? Mine is Feet of Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm going to speak to your uncle! <laughs> Mrs. Martin wants to see me tomorrow at school to discuss Bernie's attitude. If you ask me, that boy's got kicked out of school written all over him. Never! He's gonna graduate no matter what. Uh, it's my dream for him, Mrs. Solo. See, I never got my own high school diploma. Reform school? I've done it this time. <laughs> Goodbye, Cornhill. John and Beth will just have to find you a new dog sitter. Of course, he won't know you like I do. He won't even know you can talk. He'll treat you like a normal dog. Watch my chops. You're not going anywhere, Bernie, because Uncle Rico is going to convince Mrs. Martin to keep you in school. But, Corneal, Uncle Rico can't change Mrs. Martin's mind. Nobody can. She's just a stubborn old goat. You can change anyone's mind about anything, Bernie. You just need to figure out what makes them tick. Yeah, right. Did I mention that Karen called about going to the movies with you? I have to call her. Come on. Hello? Karen? Hello? Bernie, you see, she never called. No! It was simply to demonstrate that I could change your whole attitude, because I know what makes you tick. <laughs> and now, Mrs. Martin. that you needed to get to know Mrs. Martin, I didn't mean for you to break into her office. It's just not ethical. <laughs> You're going to fall. That'll teach you. Mr. I don't listen to anyone and I do as I please. <laughs> there you go. Serves you right. You see what happens when you try to do things on your own? likes carrots! Now that rocks my world! No, I mean it. Come here, Mrs. Martin. Here's a bunch of carrots. Don't send me to reform school, okay? Listen to me. Mrs. Martin's purchases will tell us a great deal about her. After all, my dear Bernie, you are what you buy. It figures, the old nanny goat. <laughs> Are you crazy? Hey, come back! <laughs> you little hoodlum! Do you think I enjoy stacking shelves? Oh! Hello, Bernie. 
You! Why are you on a... No point in getting angry now, Bernie. I've got all the clues we need. Strawberry chewing gum wrapper, violet perfume, cuddly toy, rock music. Conclusion. We didn't know Mrs. Martin at all. Cornell, you klutz! You got the wrong cart! <laughs> when am I ever wrong, Bernie? <laughs> Bernie Barges! Uh, uh, Mrs. Morton. May I ask what you're doing rummaging through my cart? Rummaging? Me? Oh, no. I, uh, just wanted one of these, too. Uh, for, um, for my dog. <laughs> it is high time I had a meeting with your uncle. Bernie, are you sure about this? I'm telling you, Uncle Rico, this is what makes Mrs. Martin tick. Here, have some strawberry gum and here, this too. <laughs> and a drop of violet. Now, don't forget, you're into rock music and carrots, okay? And while you're there, be sure to talk about me and what a good student I'll be, <laughs> and... Enough! Enough! I'll do my best. Look, you're gonna graduate no matter what. It's my dream for you, Bernie, because I never got my own... High school diploma, I know, I know. this crazy idea anyway. Stop worrying, Bernie. We've completely <laughs> succeeded in figuring out... What makes her tick? Cornel, I figured that out long ago. And I'm going in there to do it right now. I'm gonna get down on my knees and beg Mrs. Martin for mercy. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to meet you. You're a wonderful man, Mr. Rico. Well? 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 You're staying in school. Yes! It worked! It worked! You're the best, Uncle Rico. And you too, Cornel. You're both awesome. Mr. Rico! Mr. Rico, you left your helmet! See you soon. See you soon? What did she mean? the sugar, Bernie. Give Andy Martin a kiss! Oh! Are you okay, Bernie? Huh? Oh, well done! What? What's the matter? What a pleasure to meet you. You're a wonderful man, Mr. Rico. Thanks to your crummy deductive reasoning, Mrs. Martin has fallen in love with my uncle. That's the matter. My whole future just turned into a total nightmare. Hello, Mr. Rico. Hello. <laughs> Cheer up, Bernie. You're just imagining things. Just because two people think they have everything in common is no reason to think they're in love. Come back! We're gonna get married and I'm gonna be the laughing stock of the whole school! Oh, 
Mrs. Martin, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Mrs. Martin, I've always dreamed of getting a high school diploma. Thank you for tutoring me. Oh, no. Thank you, Mr. Rico. It's a pleasure to finally have such a studious pupil. Oh, there. A logical explanation. And you know what? I'll bet that your shining example will change Bernie's attitude, too. Bernie will be so relieved. You can't get rid of Bernie as easy as you think. I think is that you're interrupting my lesson. You bet I am, because what makes you tick isn't uh, uh, your lesson? Well, I, I mean... Yeah, Bernie. Mrs. Martin has given me private tutoring so I can finally get my diploma. Now, what exactly do you want? What did I tell you? Following your good example, he's ready to study with us. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sure. Psst, Uncle Rico, I just spelled voluntary education. Surely, uh -oh. Bernie, I don't need to remind you that there is no talking during the test. Psst, Corneal, how'd you spell voluntary education? Not quite the same as you do, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs>